if you look at this head, there is a very slight donut right here on this densigram. Once again, remember it's in a laboratory. The CU on this system shows up at a 93%. In theory, that would be a phenomenal system. Your DU right here is at 89%. Pretty good CU, pretty good DU in, in the laboratory situation. But there's a very slight area here of a donut. What that's telling us is that in the winter time, this system works just fine. As soon as our ET goes up, we're going to start seeing those donuts occur on that site. There is a spacing problem that we need to get out there and correct. And once we correct that spacing problem, those donuts go away. Okay, that's called a stretched system. They're out there everywhere. And you said it earlier why there's a stretched system out there is because our construction crew, okay, knows that, you know what, if I, really, if I value engineer this and I take out three valves, I'll win that job. I can add one more head here and one more head there and one more head here because I know that. Well, yeah, it's overlapped, it's stretched, that doesn't mean it's right. Coverage doesn't always mean uniformity. In fact, it usually doesn't. Uniformity has to do with what's in that book. But you got to remember, uniformity in that book is in a laboratory. So, triangle patterns are not always better than square patterns. The old rule of thumb was, I set that up on a triangle spacing. Triangle spacing has way better CU than square spacing. Not always true. Has to do with the site. Has to do with the turf plot we're watering. Has to do with all those factors that we got to bring into it. Good rule of thumb that I've always used, if you've got a system set up on 15 foot spacing based on catalog numbers, okay, 15 foot nozzles, space the head about 12. Give yourself a little overlap because not one of those spacings that they have listed on those nozzles is out there in the field. Every one of them is in that laboratory under ideal conditions. You got to set up a little different than what's in there. The Irrigation Auditors uh, Society, they say through uh, IA, they say give yourself a foot overlap. Okay, eh, it's still a little close. A couple feet, what's, you know, if you're not going, having to go to the controller and up your run times dramatically, okay, and you've, you've got a little bit of an extra overlap on head-to-head, -head, your systems are going to be more efficient because now we're not stretching them um, and we've got, we've got the opportunity to uh, keep those systems tight, keep everything rolling together um, because out there, in the environment, it's totally different than in a laboratory. And you guys know that because you've been out there.